Hello everyone, my name is Sumit and I welcome all of you to BISP Surf Learning Video Workflow Solution. Today I am going to demonstrate you how to invoke a workflow using a dialog in Dynamics Viewer. In my previous video, I have already told you uh, or I have already demonstrated you that how to invoke a dialog in Dynamics CRM. So that is a, this video will be the additional video in that in the previous video. So in this tutorial, we'll be going to see that how can we invoke a workflow by using a dialog in Dynamics CRM. So let's switch to Dynamics CRM and uh, the steps involved in this tutorial. First of all, we'll be going to create a workflow. And then later on, we'll be going to invoke that workflow by using a dialog. So let's switch to dynamic CRM first of all. And the first step which I'm going to perform here is I'm going to create a workflow here. So let's let's see how to create a workflow. So to create a workflow, I'm going to switch to settings. And in settings, I'm going to click solutions. So let's create a new solution in this application. So I click on new to create a new solution. Then I'll give a name to my solution. Let's say BSP solution and uh, the publisher. Um, I'll go with the default publisher. The version. 6.0.1 and I'll save it and once we save this solution we'll be going to create a process within in this solution so I click on process new And the process name is, let's suppose I'm going to create a workflow here and this workflow will work or this workflow will execute whenever we invoke a dialogue in a contact entity and it will send an email to the selected contact, so I write send email to contact, category will be workflow, entity will be contact and OK. Here, I'm going to select as a child process because I want this workflow to be execute as a child process from within a dialog. So that's why I select a child process and the scope I set it to organization level. Then I'm going to add few steps here. So my requirement is that this workflow will send an email to the contact. So I'll add here send email and add a step, add a description, send email to contact click on set property because we need to add an email template so if you either you can use the existing template so in my existing videos I've already explained how to set up an email template in Dynamics here or we can set up a new or we can set up a new template here itself so it should be from on behalf of the owing user so I select owing user here add it to to the contact to contact subject thanks for registration and here we can say dear contact name so I want contact first name and last name so I select here first name or we can go with a full name as well to contact full name thanks for registering with us regards yes and I'll save and close it so once we have created this workflow I'm going to save it and activate it 
because without activation this workflow will not work so I click on activate to activate this workflow and click on activate so this workflow will activate now in next step we'll be going to create a work dialog box so let's close this first if I close it and again I'm going to create a new process and in this process I give a name contact dialog contact dialog category will be dialog entity will be contact because I want that this dialog to be execute or invoke only from this contact entity okay Now in this dialog, I'm going to add steps. So I click on steps and click on page. Add a page, first of all. And verify from user. And in this, I'll add a step here prompt and response so I'm going to get the confirmation from the user whether the confirm whether the user wants to execute that workflow or not so run workflow set properties Just I'll say invoke workflow and the response type will be option set radio buttons and right and I'll select this item one yes and no save and close because I'll, I'm going to get the input from the user and once I get the input from the user based on that I'm going to invoke that particular dialog or that workflow so select this page and start child so I'll check condition that if the in the input is yes so, so if the input is yes then only that workflow will invoke so I write here check user input and click on if condition to configure it to add the condition here so I'm going to add a condition uh, select here if the run workflow basically this run workflow response label is equals to yes if the response label is equal to yes then only it will invoke so I add a condition here and this will run the child workflow so I select child workflow the contact and the child workflow which we have created the send email to contact so there are two uh, so that's the recent one the recent workflow so I select it and save it that's all so let's test it whether it works or not so first of all I'll save it and activate it click on activate close it publish all customization this is very important because the changes which you have made in this in this application that if you want that all the changes should get affected so you need to click on publish all customization and once all the changes has the ones on the customization have been published you can save and close it and for testing we can switch to sales and contact and let's test it so to test our dialog box I have already created a record and the record the email ID of that record I have set as my record uh, my email ID because I'm going to test it so I select this particular record and my requirement is let, or let's suppose a customer get executive would like to send an email to to the selected records selected 
contact so the that executive can select more than one record as well but in this case i'm going to select only one record so i selected one contact here jim klein and his email is summit.goel at the rate bsptrainings.com that's my mail id so let's click on this particular icon over here click on start dialog and i click on start dialog i'll get a message or I'll get a dialog box, look up record. So there are three dialogs available. So that's the, the dialog which we have created just now. That's the most recent dialog, contact dialog. I select it, click on add, and a dialog box will appear. Uh, that's the same dialog box which we created just, just now. It will prompt a message to the user, invoke workflow, and based on the user input, that workflow will execute. So I, I go with yes. So my input is yes, and I click on next, and click on finish now this dialog box first of all let's it will check the input from the user and based on the current user input or based on the user's input it will invoke that workflow so let's test our mailbox so you can see I have received an email from the mailbox that dear Jim Klein that's the name and thanks for registration so that's the mail which I have received after invo that after that workflow has been invoked so that's how we can invoke workflow by using a dialog in a dynamic CRM. That's all in this video. If you have any queries, you can visit our website www.bisptrainings.com or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Have a nice day ahead. Goodbye.